Um, you've heard what the, former, uh, the secretary said that uh, Ms. Ahmad, Mr. Amade Kwa, that uh, um, they are not rejecting the move that the government, is, a gov the government is taking. The government is taking. I mean to say, but in a situation that after moving from here to Oyibo, after constructing the market, the people will not be able to afford it. That is going to be another issue. Uh, but do you think uh, it was really necessary for the, uh, this information to bring them in? as part of these uh, uh, developments, telling them about it before moving, before constructing the market, because the people might come up and give the government uh, the condition that is not, it will not definitely not be um, okay with the government. And before you know, this will become um, an issue where they will have to chase them from here at the end of the day, no markets for them. So do you think the government did the right by moving ahead without letting the people know? Well, um Incidentally, the eco cool spare market traders, as we speak, don't have a market. Uh, this is liking to trying to build a house for a, an homeless person, and the person is giving you a specification of the kind of house he or she wants to live in. These traders can be literally likened to people who are staying in slums and under flyovers. And then somebody in the person of the executive governor of River State, Sassimala Efubra, is trying to put up a befitting market for them. In fact, what they had um, during the weekend's administration that was demolished for where you have um, a shopping mall that I do not want to mention because they didn't pay ATN for um, adverts. The, the place where makeshift. They were old rickety buildings that were built uh, some as far back as 50, 70, 80 years. And so, um, according to the then government, the idea was to relocate them to a better place. At some point, the old uh, slaughter market was proposed to be the new place where Ikoku would be. And then at some other point, it was proposed for Oyibo. Um, the back and forth, the fighting between the Ikoku traders and the then state government led by Nyeso uh probably would have been reasons why that did not see the light of the day. And so, uh, in the current dispensation, uh, Sim, or Governor Sim Fubra now decided to uh, not just uh, do that, because I think the same day he did um, sign the contract for uh, 200,000 units mm. and then also signed the contract for the Ikoku spare market uh, in Oyibo. Oyibo, um, as of today, is uh, an urban area in, in River State so long as we are concerned and um, from the city center to Oyibo is not more than 15-20 minutes and there is a lot of internal roads being constructed as we speak in Oyibo. And therefore, I think that government, probably the Nyeso Wike administration felt that they needed to do some kind of internal route because the roads in Oyibo before now were very deplorable. In fact, Oyibo was a site of how a road should not be in River State. And so the Nyeso Wike administration started doing small, small roads and all of that. Of course, joining to what the then Buhari government did on the Oyibo Express that has four lanes as we speak right now. And then the road leading to Umbano, to our farm, and to different parts of Oyibo is now being constructed. So I think that this was the best time to actually do a market for them. Because you can't put a market as serious as spare parts where all automobiles are, are taken there for repair and for refurbishment and all of that. And then they don't have access. People don't have access to that place. Because motorists will always be going there. Uh, it will be as busy as the day Nikoku was. And so, yes, I understand the point Mr. Madikwa is trying to make, saying they probably would have been consulted. Mm. But I think that the Nyeso Week administration had met, had met with them several times. But the none, 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 none of them And so come government up. is a continuum. Government does not need to consistently keep meeting and meeting and meeting with people. What are they asking for? They're asking for a market. Where did government propose Oyibo? Where is the Sinfubra administration citing the market Oyibo? What it means is that the, arrangement, the original agreement that was had with them before the demolition of the uh, Ikoku market mm. that used to be there was that the market is going to be built in Atoyibo. And as we speak there now, 
the contract that has just been signed last week with the state government and TAF uh, construction is that they are going to Igbo to, do, to go and do the construction. I therefore find no fault in what government has done. However, I think that um, maybe as a, maybe a supervisory role or something, government can co uh, mandate the contractors to call up the Koku Market Traders Association, maybe their leaders, maybe the president and the secretary or so, or maybe the market uh, women leader, the three of them can be part of the supervisory but, body but where no, no. they actually check what the consumption company is going to do whether in, in the line with the kind of business that they do, whether with that kind of design, be mm. able to take care of their needs.